Coming from United Kingdom, not good news. Some visas are being cancelled in the coming days. Student visas are the first the those students who came to United Kingdom for the study, but they are full time working and they are not studying their enrollment in the college is nil and they are not studying. They are utilizing student visa as a work permit visa. Second type of uh, visa holders, uh, health care visa holders whose spouses spouses mean healthcare individuals they will not be their visa will not cancel but their spouses visa may be cancelled and these are two categories united kingdom seriously thinking to cancel their visas there are a lot of troubles going on in the united kingdom these days pressure from the united kingdom government and they committed we will not allow illegal people to stay in United Kingdom number one and the persons who came to United Kingdom by fake entry or even by legal entry like student visa but they are not following rules and regulations. The in the recently United Kingdom decision to send asylum seekers to Rwanda this is the follow up a follow up of that decision and coming days uh, looking united kingdom would be very tight in the visa and also they will issue visas visas uh, visas holders will get visa more but some people who will go for extension of the visa they may be trapped for example student visas holders when they will go for extension the united kingdom home office may check their data their enrollment if they will not follow the legal status of student legal uh, rules of the students in united kingdom their visa on the spot may be cancelled and they will be uh, deported to the home country remember there are two time a type of deportation now currently in united kingdom if you will apply asylum then you have to go to rwanda their first flight is ready the news are very worse regarding that if you are planning if you came to united kingdom by agents by any illegal way by sea by any way you have no chance to survive in united kingdom and united kingdom has planned perfectly to send them to asylum now the lawyers of united kingdom are very active and they are telling that we will do this thing we will do that thing Lawyers are technically charged huge fee. There are some good lawyers, but there are some experienced lawyers. There, but there are some lawyers who are greedy. They just charge the fee, and they cannot change the rules of home office. Therefore, uh, the keeping in mind the lawyers, you should not come to United Kingdom. That lawyers will help and will change your status because these are the laws of the United Kingdom. If you have applied asylum you have to go to rwanda and you will be captured if you are k you came on student visa you are not studying you will be captured and illegal stay in united kingdom is almost going to finish there are three countries who are putting much pressure on migrants number one united kingdom canada and australia but for students united kingdom is more worse because united kingdom don't allow them to work uh, but uh, some students uh, try to work in a hidden way and they try to work uh, after study they don't go back home even their visa expire they became illegal uh, there are many individuals who are still in united kingdom enough numbers of the students they are stu they were students they did not come to home country they are scared they will not get the jobs they are getting money from the uh, from the united kingdom in the form of the pounds even they are working illegal <clears throat> but enough money they are earning which they uh, they cannot earn in their home country so therefore they are reluctant to go to back home country so their destination may be rwanda if they will be captured so therefore be careful first of all when you are applying for student visa you must be very uh, attentive that you are not going to uh, work you are not going for work normally 90% students who go to United Kingdom from Asian countries like India, Pakistan and Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bangladesh, they think only that they will work there and they find student visa quite easier than any other visa because work permit visa took long time, student visa only one month, two month DC and visitor visa you can't work, student visa little bit work is allowed. So this is the long term visa they can stay 
in United Kingdom and they try to get the permanent residence. I am clearly telling you that as a consultant, I am telling you as an advisor telling you, as your friend telling you, as your brother telling you. Please listen. As a student visa holder, you are not able to get citizenship of United Kingdom. If you will ask in Canada, yes, in Canada, you can go and you can get the permanent residency. But in the uh, in Australia, yes, there is chance. Of course, there are limitizations. This service of giving bridging visa, work permit visa, switching towards the permanent residence in Australia and Canada. United Kingdom has no such plan. So why you people are wasting your money and you will be trapped, you will move to Rwanda, your family members will listen, your parents will be worried, you will be insulted. This is an insult you are being sent to Rwanda. So better if you are planning to get the PR. If country don't want to give you PR, why you are trying? There are some countries who give you PR, still Canada, Australia as open pathway for permanent residents. Therefore, you should change your uh, academic flight if you want to get PR. You move to Canada, move to Australia, don't put your family in trouble. You are not able to pay fee in United Kingdom. Work is not allowed. The working time is very less and you are not able to bring your spouse. You are not able to bring to similarly healthcare professionals. Healthcare professionals, if you move to Canada as a healthcare professional, my point is only one, you do same work as your work permit is. If you will change your work permit and you will do some other works, you will be trapped anytime, anytime. Some people don't think and they think no problem that this thing will not happen. I am telling you when you will go for extension of the visa, this time there will be a lot of restrictions. They will assess each single and everything they will check your status was same as you came you were student you were student you enrolled you was enrolled what was your attendance percentage in the university or college what was your achievement what was your examination result what were your comments of college you was genuine student your working schedule in uh, your working time in united kingdom was according to student visa rules when they will be satisfied when they will extend your visa otherwise they will cancel your visa. That's the point I'm telling you. Similarly, if you are healthcare professionals, when you will go for extension of the visa, they will always think your spouse is there or not. If you have spouse, your spouse visa will be cancelled. And if you will be doing some other works, I, I listened some from individuals, they went on healthcare visa and they are doing other works like plumbers, security works, and even some are studying. This is quite unfair and when you will go for extension of the visa, these all things will count. Some lawyers are very brave and they told uh, by very uh, bold sentence, no problem, just keep paying taxes, uh, you will get citizenship, whatever the work you are doing. This, these things were valid. I'm not telling they are wrong. These things were valid, but some days back, some years back in the era of high skilled migration program, and when you was having different jobs, no problem, all things were running. But now Home Office Department has decided that we will check your status is according to your work or not. If Home Office decided and they change the laws and lawyers cannot change the law, they can convince. They cannot convince department to change the law. They can say my client is okay. If the client, how client can be okay when laws are changed laws says when you are going for health care you have to work in the health care department law says you are going for study you have to study and you have to work only 14 to 20 hours whatever the canadian uk student rules say if you will not follow rules and you will work full time you will leave study and when you will go you will hire your lawyer and your lawyer say my client is right my client came on student visa and my client worked full time, my client is poor and my client need money. He has to send a lot of money to the parents in the home country. They belong to developing country. My client has complete right to work. This is not the law changing uh, uh, individuals lawyers. They follow in by remaining in domain of lawyers. They will charge your fee and when you will be refused, they will say we tried our best. There will be no any type of spot in their uh, in, in, in their company or in their name 
because they will earn money. How many cases they win, how many cases they lose sometimes, they 100% think they will lose, but still they fight to charge the fee because they knew we are going against the UK rules and they will say some sentences and your home office justified that your client is not following the rules of United Kingdom. Therefore, be careful and keep watching World Immigration News by Erfan. Thank you very much.